Oi, oi, girls and boys, and everything in between, it's Ace Trainer Lee, and back with another episode of Form Fight. Form Fight is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form, or a branch devolution, or counterpart Pokemon. We have a look at the differences between those Pokemon and try and work out which one is the best. And so we can see these Pokemon in action on the battlefield. We also have a metronome battle between the different Pokemon in question, just for a little bit of fun, really. If you're a fan of the Form Fight series and you're ready for more, make sure you hit the like button, show your appreciation for this series, and of course, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. But with all that out of the way, let's have a look at today's challenges. Today we're going to be comparing the two forms of Heracross. Heracross and Mega Heracross. Wherever you catch your Heracross, it will be in its regular form. However, a Heracross holding Heracronite can Mega Evolve into Mega Heracross during battle. And this will last until the battle ends. But what makes these two forms so different? Let's take a look. The Pokedex tells us that Heracross stands at 1.5 meters tall and weighs 54 kilograms. Its Pokedex information tells us it roams through forests searching for sweet nectar. Although it boasts fantastic physical strength, it's not that good at flying. It's proud of its thick horn. In Alola, its biggest rival is Vikavolt, which it's always fighting with. As for Mega Heracross, it stands at 1.7 meters tall and weighs 62.5 kilograms. Its Pokedex data tells us a tremendous influx of energy builds it up, but when Mega Evolution ends, Heracross is bothered by terrible soreness in its muscles. It can grip things with its two horns and lift 500 times its own body weight. In terms of appearance, these two Pokemon forms look very similar, both in keeping with the beetles they're based on. However, the pair of horns on Mega Heracross form almost a giant claw, and of course Mega Heracross has much thicker arms. In their shiny forms, both forms of Heracross switch their blue coloration for a bright pink and end up looking fabulous. Now let's take a look at their typing, weaknesses and resistances. Both these Pokemon are dual type bug and fighting Pokemon, so this section will be fairly short. They're both weak to flying, fire, psychic and fairy type moves, with the flying weakness being a four times weakness. They both resist fighting, ground, bug, grass and dark type attacks, and of course have no immunities. Now we'll take a look at the stats and abilities of these Pokemon forms. Heracross itself has all round decent stats with average speed and decent bulk, and an impressive attack stat of 125 base power. Its special attack is very low, but that's because this Pokemon is designed with physical moves in mind, really. Its primary ability is Swarm, which powers up Bug-type moves used by Heracross when its HP falls below one-third of maximum. This can be handy for boosting the already impressive Mega Horn, but I always feel like abilities that don't activate until you're in a pinch aren't really abilities you want to build your Pokemon around, it's just not safe. Heracross's secondary ability is Guts, which increases its attack stat by 50% when it has a status condition, and this also prevents a burn from lowering Heracross's attack stat, which is why a lot of people combine it with a Flame Orb. Again, an ability that increases your already decent attack stat is great, but if it means limiting the amount of turns your Pokemon can survive for, it's a risky game to play. Its hidden ability is Moxie, which increases Heracross's attack stat by one stage each time it knocks out a Pokemon. A lot of people see success with this ability by combining it with a Choice Scarf, thus allowing Heracross to move first and KO its opponent easily, then receiving an attack boost so it can dispatch the next opponent even quicker until all opponents are left laying. Being a Mega Evolution, Mega Heracross does get a significant boost to its stats, seeing decent increases to both its defense and special defense, with its attack stat raising to an enormous 185 base power. However, it does lose a tiny bit of speed. Mega Heracross only gets one ability, which is Skill Link, which guarantees multi-hit moves like Pin Missile or Arm Thrust will always achieve the maximum number of hits possible. This effectively turns 25 base power moves like Rock Blast and Pin Missile into a guaranteed 125 base power move since they'll always hit five times. While this is a handy ability to have, it does seem a little lackluster given how few moves it actually affects from Heracross's moveset, and it almost feels like Mega Heracross could have probably been given a better ability. Although I do appreciate giving it something like Moxie would have been pretty meta-breaking. Now it's time for me to decide which of these two forms of Heracross I prefer, and honestly, I really love the attack power of Mega Heracross, and I, I appreciate that Skill Link is a decent ability, but for me, a regular Heracross with Moxie is far more useful in a battle situation without using your Mega Slot on Mega Heracross. So for me, I'm going to go with regular Heracross, plus I, I like its little smile and I like its... It just, there's just something about it that just makes it look like a Pokemon to me. I feel like with a lot of Mega Evolutions, 
they're a little bit over-designed, and Mega Heracross is a perfect example of that. It's where they've gone, we need to make a Mega for Heracross, how can we make it look? Pump up its arms, make the horns bigger, just, I, I don't know, I pre much prefer the look and the style, the very basic Pokemon style that Heracross has, and that's why I'm sticking with the regular form rather than the mega form. But of course it's not just up to me, it's up to you guys to decide which of these is your favourite, but before you decide, we're going to see these Pokemon on the battlefield. It's time for the Metronome battle. Before we get started, I will point out these Pokemon have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats, they've got neutral natures, they're not holding any held items, Heracross has its hidden ability Moxie, obviously um, Mega Heracross can only have one ability, so that's why it's going to have skill link. So every Everything really is down to their base stats in terms of giving any of these Pokemon an advantage or a disadvantage, so you can kind of see that Mega Heracross has an advantage here. Everything else, though, is up to the metronome. Let's go. Bring out the bug spray. It's time for Mega Heracross versus regular Heracross as everybody enters the battlefield here. Remember, the regular team's going to move first because it has that 10 extra base power in speed. But uh, the Mega Team definitely has the advantage in attack, defense, and special defense. Here we see Petal Dance as the first move. That is going to be a multi-turn move as well. But not very effective, so it's a shame that you're locked into that already regular Heracross. Here we see Shiny regular Heracross going with Guard Split. Going to uh, exchange a little bit of defense and special defense there. Take advantage of some of the bulk that the Shiny Mega has. Here's regular Mega with a fling, but of course no one's holding any held items, so that's not going to take any effect effect at all. And here we see turn one ending with an Ice Fang from Shiny Mega Heracross onto Shiny Regular Heracross there, doing a decent amount of damage with that 185 attack stat, well base power attack stat. We see the rest of that Petal Dance resulting in the confusion from Regular non-Shiny Heracross. And here's Shiny Regular Heracross bringing on Ancient Power. It would be really helpful if it could get the stat boost that comes with Ancient Power sometimes. And there it is! Attack, Defense, Special attack, special defense, and speed all rising on the shiny regular Heracross. That's going to be very important for the regular team, definitely. Here we see Shiny Mega with a Teeter Dance. Going to confuse everybody on the field except itself, although remember... Regular Heracross is, is already confused anyway. Confuses its own partner though, that's an interesting tactic there. How's that going to work? Here we see the confusion and... Oh! Hits itself! Normal, uh, normal Mega Heracross. Hitting itself in confusion there. Here we see shiny regular Heracross is going to shake that confusion off. What's it going to go for? Leaf Storm, not very effective, avoided anyway. Here we see regular Heracross going in with... Met well, we don't know what move yet, but it's going to shake off that confusion as well and go for Storm Throw. It's not going to be very effective, but it's going to be a decent hit nonetheless on Shiny Mega with a little bit of a crit in there as well. Here we see Shiny Mega, what's it got in store? A Blizzard, gonna be avoided by one of them. Who's gonna take that Blizzard hit? It's gonna be normal Heracross, but of course, let's remember the special attack stat on Heracross is very, very low. As we see regular Mega hit itself once again in confusion, that Teeter Dance has not paid off. Here's shiny regular Heracross shaking the confusion off once again. What's it going for? Bolt Strike. Again, it's avoided though. Getting really lucky, this Mega Team right now. Here we see regular Heracross. No confusion this turn. What's it going to do? It's going to go for another Teeter Dance. Oh my god. So now everybody's confused. This is insane. What is happening right now? <laughs> Here we see a confused, shiny, mega Heracross. What's it gonna do? It's gonna shake off the confusion and go for the metronome. What move are we getting? We're getting Sing, but it's gonna be avoided. No one's going to sleep today. And here's regular uh, mega Meta uh, Metagross? Heracross with the metronome going for hail. Everyone's gonna take chip damage this turn. I, I swear, is this... I, I don't know what's happening. What do these what do these Heracross think's gonna happen? Really? Everyone's gonna get buffeted this turn. By the way, look forward to a Mega Metagross versus Metagross form fight in the future, ladies and gentlemen. Let's segue into that. As we see everyone take the hail damage. What's gonna happen? There's still confusion everywhere. Shiny regular hits itself. Oh my word, finally the confusion ends for regular Heracross, what's it got in store? Goes for Smokescreen, gonna lower the accuracy of Shiny Mega, oh my goodness, finally a decent move comes out. What's Shiny Mega gonna do? It's gonna hit itself right in the face, it's not looking good for the Mega team right now, what about regular Mega? 
gonna go for the metronome, ignores the confusion, what's it got in store? Draco Meteor, taking advantage of that terrible special attack stat, so I think whoever gets hit is gonna survive this nonetheless. Yeah, didn't do much at all, and even lowers the special attack stat even further. My goodness, there's, everyone's gonna get buffeted once again. Oh, this, what even is this battle right now? I don't know who's gonna win at this point. It could go either way, really. It's, it's a really insane battle. Here we see shiny regular Heracross, what you got in store for us? You're gonna go for present, okay, risky move, could backfire, and it does backfire, healing, shiny Mega, what are you doing? You can't do that. I'm giving this one to Mega at this point. If, if, if the regular team is going to keep making mistakes like that Captivate that did nothing, Mega snaps out of confusion. Regular Mega, what's it going for? It's going for Freeze Dry. Again, special attacks. Not really going to do much in this battle. It's all about the physicality. Here we see Mega snapping out of... Shiny Mega snapping out of confusion. Going for Pin Missile. Avoided. That would have been boosted by Skill Link, though. However, not very effective anyway, but still. It still would have been Skill Link, and that would have been five hits as we see most most of the damage here is coming from the hail at this point everyone's down to the yellow oh my word here we see shiny regular heracross snapping out confusion going for the fake tears gonna lower the special defense stat of regular mega heracross and what's regular heracross gonna do what's good old-fashioned oh aeroblast oh my goodness that's four times effective oh my goodness takes out Shiny Mega, there is only one Mega left on the field now. I did not see that coming. The Moxie's going to activate, raising the attack stat of regular Heracross. My word. Here comes, here comes Mega Heracross with Revelation Dance. Your special attack stat's been lowered two stages and it's already garbage. You need physical attacks, dude, to win this one. We see the hail damage coming out. It, it's looking really bad for the Mega team, isn't it? Oh my, oh my word. What have we got left? Here we see shiny, regular Heracross coming out with a Sacred Sword. It's going to be not very effective, but still a decent stab move there. It does a significant amount of damage. It's looking scary for the Mega Team now. Ice Ball with that plus one attack as well. Is it enough? It is. And the regular team pull out a victory against the Megas. That's insane. You guys have absolutely bossed it. So there you have it, you've heard what I've got to say, you've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, now it's time for your decision. Do you prefer Heracross or Mega Heracross? Let me know in the comments below and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. If you've enjoyed this episode, of course hit the like button, it massively helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications on so you never miss an episode. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam, keep on training.